this point you are quite comfortable working in git and you understand how version control works but what we've not yet looked at is how to work with branches in git and that's what we'll discuss here in this video now we know that git makes it easy for multiple collaborators to work on the same project each one makes a copy of the remote repository on their local machine they work on their local repositories now let's say you're developing a feature that's going to take several weeks to complete now you might want to commit to your local repository and even push to remote before the feature is entirely done now if you want to do this on the main branch you'll be cluttering the main branch with lot of extra code which is not really in its complete baked state you don't want half baked code in the main branch the main branch should be pristine clean containing only code that has been fully tested and is ready for the next release so how do you accomplish this well you work on your feature in a branch let's understand the regular workflow when we have just a single branch we have our remote repository which contains the source of truth the original source code which has been pushed out to remote from local repositories when you have multiple teams on a project they can clone this remote repo and work locally on their own copy let's imagine the scenario where this project is a fairly huge one and there are different teams working on different parts of the project and alice and bob are team managers and they are implementing different features for different aspects of this project now if alice and bob were working individually it might be completely okay for them to just clone the remote repository and work independently on their local repositories so alice has her local repository and bob has his own they keep making changes to the local repository as they are developing their features and once they feel their features are in a fairly steady state they can push all of their changes to the origin so the changes for alice as well as bob will be both pushed out to the origin and will be available to other collaborators integrating all changes to the main branch in the remote repository works when there are just two or three collaborators in a repository but what if alice and bob manage a dispersed team multiple developers all working together on features if you have say two or three separate teams where each team works on a separate project it's far better to have a different branch for each teams where each branch is focused on the development of a single feature and all of the commits of these teams will be recorded on a branch now we've seen that when you first set up a repository there is a primary branch or a default branch that is set up for you this branch used to be referred to as the master branch but the modern more inclusive term is to refer to as as the main branch you'll find that today people rarely refer to the master branch they'll usually call it main or trunk now because you've already worked with git you know that a branch is just a timeline of commits in your repository you start off with an initial commit that's an initial set of changes and then you make more changes to the project over time and each change is a commit and each commit is another addition to your timeline 